Eurosport Live. Welcome back to the World Championships of Artistic Gymnastics in Birmingham. As you join us for the introduction of the second of the three finals for the men, parallel bars, Karbenenko, Charipov, Andrei Khan of Belarusia, Belenki, there is the man in form so far, one goal this afternoon, Sherbo, Huang of China, Karakov of Russia, and Igor Korobchinsky of the Ukraine, completing the eight finalists for this individual parallel bar final. And once again, we have to say Vitaly Sherbo will start as final. As the favorite for this final, I should say, qualifying with 9.587, and that 087 advantage over Belenki, second, Korobchinsky, third. So, a very interesting battle once again, as we noted in the first final. Vitaly Sherbo is looking a lot more relaxed. He's finally added a second goal to the all-around goals that he collected on Friday evening. You've just joined us here on Eurosport. We are halfway through the competition. One more final for the ladies, the floor exercise, and the parallel bars to begin for the men, and the high bar for the ladies. Flights travel from Birmingham and from Great Britain. We have Rank Xerox, Simon Jersey, Continental Sports. So the Rose gymnasts Arts, once again given time to warm up. Kodobchinsky, the, the last of the eight finalists, certainly has the ability to pull something out here. Bronze medalist in the Olympic Games, second in the European Championships. Also Sergei Karkov, second in the all-around competition here, third in the all-around back in Seoul. So, another good form guide. And Vitaly Sherbo, the Olympic champion, and also joint second position with Korobchinsky in the Europeans. And promising new names, Karbananko of Russia, just 19 years of age, also enjoying a very good qualification. The starting order, Karabonenko, Charipov, Andrei Khan from Belarusia. Well, thanks to the dividing of the Soviet states, Andrei Khan gets his first opportunity at world-class gymnastics. Belenki, we were discussing earlier, moving over to Germany in the next couple of months, and so it will be the last time that he will be representing Azerbaijan, or as we see here underneath the... Federation International Gymnastique flag. Vitaly Sherbo in the second half of the final will be the man to watch. The 21-year-old from Minsk starts this second of the three finals for the men as clear favorite. Karkov and Korobchinsky. Haley, again, a very difficult one to pick the winner out of. We've seen the mistakes come from the ladies in the beam, and the tension is getting higher and higher in these men's finals also. They will also be under pressure. They've got to hold themselves together. We saw one of the um, champions, Mitsutin, we saw him make big mistakes on the parallel bars in the overall championships. So the best are doing it. So he actually had one fall on the parallel bars and one fall on the high bar. So when the pressure's on, big mistakes are made. Well, the reigning world champion in the parallel bars is Li Jing of China. And unfortunately, no Li Jing competing in these world championships. Well, Karkov makes his warm-up. We'll leave them to it. Take a short commercial break. Stay with us, because the excitement is just about to begin here in Birmingham. We'll be back in just a few moments. Eurosport live. Welcome back to the beginning of this men's parallel bars final to get the action underway for Russia. The first of the eight finalists, Dmitry Karbananko, fifth in the all around competition. Lying back. There we saw the double tuck back somersault between the bars. Two consecutive Healy turns. And the double pike back dismount. We see he's wearing the 
pads on the upper arm, that is because of a landing on the upper arm after the double somersault. A big impact on landing. Flying back. One somersault, two somersaults onto the upper arms. Not a good landing, but recovers well. Nice straight legs in the double pike. Slight hop back on landing. Karunanko talking to Sherapo there. It's the first final that he's qualified for. But he'll be back to compete in the last, the men's high bar. Fifth in the all-around competition. And Vitaly Sherapo, I have to say, really starting to enjoy his appearance and competition here, taking time out to talk to a lot of the other competitors. There is... Karkov just getting a few stickers put on. First position for Karbarenko. 9.050 sets the pace with Rustam Charipov of the Ukraine. Next to take to the parallel bars. Now, Charipov, interesting statistic. Joint second position with Korobchinsky and Vitaly Sherbo in the European Championships. The victor there was the Hungarian Zoltan Supola, unable to compete in these World Championships due to injury. So one of the favourites, Charipov. Parallel bars, fourth position, 9.500. Nice upstart to you, the hold. Diamadov on the end of the bars. Front somersault. Healy turn into immediate front somersault. Good combinations. Flying back. Flying half. Double pike back dismount. And that's a good routine for Charipov. He's had, he had, I should say, exactly the same score of Belenki and Korobchinsky in the qualification. So it really will be very close indeed. Slow motion. Amazing, the strength. And swing looking so easy and flowing here. There we see the Healy turn into immediate front somersault. Performed with great style. Again, the Healy. Beautiful leg form, straight knees throughout the exercise. Finishing with the double pike back somersault. Early days in the second of the three finals for the men. Karbaranko is leading 9.050. Well, by our scoring here in the Eurosport commentary box, Charipov has done enough to go first, and that is confirmed. 9.450, just a little less than his qualification. Charipov goes into first position. Andrei Kan from Belarus. Didn't qualify for the all-around competition, and this is only qualification and only final of these championships. A new name to the world class and level gymnastics. Chasing Charipov, leading for the Ukraine. Two consecutive Healy turns. A one and a quarter Diamadov working on the one bar. Flying half turn to handstand. And the double twisting straight back somersault dismount. New name, Andre Kan. And 
very good routine and like so many of the Russian athletes or ex-Russian athletes many many more been given the opportunity to compete due to 10 newly formed Eastern European states competing here in Birmingham there we see the one and a quarter Diamandov working on one bar only and the double twisting disc band just gets the final twist in in time to spot his landing 9.350 second position and Andre Kant will certainly be happy with the result no matter the outcome of today certainly a personal best for Kant Charipov for the Ukraine leads 9.450 one of the favorites is next Valery Belenki, 22 years of age, from as Pakistan, Azerbaijan, I should say. Third and bronze medalist in the individual world yeah. championships of Paris. We saw the Diamondov turn there, and a very interesting long swing showing that flight face through the air. Healy turn, second Healy turn. Flying back. Double pipe back somersault finish. Well, that will be very close indeed to the point score of Charipov. Valery Belenki, sixth in the all around competition. Some interesting work here. The long swing into Diamandov turn, very difficult element into a second long swing full turn beautiful long swing showing that flight phase through the air flying back somersault immediately into the double pike back somersault dismount Belenki goes into first position 9.475 goes first Charipov goes into second and Andre Khan is in third position so smiles for Belenki 22 year old goes into first position and possibly puts a little more pressure onto the favorite who will be the next competitor in the second half of this final Vitaly Sherbo will be next 9.475 is actually a little less than his score from the qualification it was 9.500 so Belenki would have looked to have improved his qualification score nevertheless it's good enough at the halfway point in the second final of the afternoon to put Belenki into first position Sherbo looking for gold medal number three starting with a full twisting long swing and again double front somersault performed very well indeed Two Healy turns. Flying back. Flying back. Three in a row. Slight hop on his double pipe back landing. But what a routine. Well, once again, the Olympic champion is looking to add a world championship gold to his medal collection. He won the first final of the afternoon for the men. That was the vault, and that looks quite possibly gold medal number two of the day and number three of the competition, his fourth medal, taking into account his silver from the floor. 
works two or three movements on the end of the bar, then works along the bar into the double front tuck somersault. Presses through into handstand. Into the heely turn. Second heely turn. And the double pike back this man. Sherbo has done it. 9.600 and is in the lead by quite a comfortable margin. 1.25 clearly ahead of Belenki. Vitaly Sherbo surely will take another gold medal. Well, there are three to go and two interesting ones towards the end of the competition. Let's not take anything away from Huang Huadong from China, just 21 years of age, but really has an awful lot to do to steal that gold medal placing away from Sherbo. Oh, that was going to be the long swing with a full turn. Completely missed the move. Good flying back, good flying half. <laughs> Double pipe back dismount. Not a good routine. Disappointment there for Huang. And really, with the parallel bars, there is no room for mistake. And when the competition and the competitive level is as high as we're seeing right now. One error really means and spells disaster. The slow motion tells the story. There we saw the giant swing with a hopful turn, but doesn't make it. Well, a double Pite back somersault to finish for Huang, but unfortunately the point score will certainly not put the 21-year-old within any chance of taking a medal. The one, two and three as Sergei Karkov of Russia prepares the bars for his routine. Sherbo for Belarusia is in first position. Second position is Belenki and third is Charipov of the Ukraine. Silver medalist to Vitaly Sherbo in the all-around competition, Karkov, and it really would be a dream come true if Karkov could go one better and deny Sherbo gold medal number three. We're awaiting the score of Huang, 8.650, and that's understandable considering the fall at the beginning of his routine. Sergei Karkov, well, this gentleman certainly has the ability to change the medal's positions. The 23-year-old silver medalist in the all-around. Can he take it away from Sherbo? There we see the double somersault between the bars. Healy turn, second Healy, a second double somersault between the bars. Doesn't quite complete the move. That's a breakdown in the routine. Into the double back this man. A very interesting one to score. Certainly tariff high technical difficulty within the routine Karkov who was joint second in the European Championships with Vitaly Sherbo in the qualification well 9.500 if he could score that once again here as we see one of the double front somersaults to an underarm landing but a little messy on the second swing after that double front Haley. 
doesn't complete the somersault correctly, lands a little bit low down on his arm and that throws him off balance and out of stride completely. The double somersaults, E movements on the P-bars, that means very difficult movements, top bonus marks. The men all trying to add as much difficulty as possible. 9.600 is the best score so far by this gentleman, Vitaly Sherbo. Above 9.475 and 8770, 8700 I should say. And that's a disappointing score for Karkov which leaves us one final competitor. He was the bronze medalist behind Sherbo in the Barcelona Summer Olympics, Ken Korobczynski, the 22-year-old from the Ukraine, possibly steal it away from the great Vitaly Sherbo. Two consecutive Healy turns. One and a quarter Diamandov working on the single bar through into handstand. And a double pike back this man. Well, again, I wouldn't like to give a score for that routine. It will be very close. 9.6, as we said earlier, is the best score. Vitaly Sherbo leads. And then it's very close indeed for second and third position. Belenki, 9.475 and 4.50 for the bronze medal, Rustam Charipov. Good combinations. High difficulty. Connecting two Healy turns together. Well performed Diamandov, one and a quarter. Good control. This can make a difference with the medal placings. Korobczynski has taken the silver, 9.525. Well, three gold medals now to Vitaly Sherbo, and Korobczynski goes one better than Barcelona to claim silver. But once again, <laughs> Sherbo punches the air, gets more and more relaxed and starts to perform better and better and better. The best score in the men's parallel bars, 9.600, gives Vitaly Sherbo first position. Second place has gone to Igor Korobczynski, 9.525, which gives the bronze medal. And there it is on your screens too. Valery Belenki, Cheripov is fourth, Can five, Kabbalenko six, Karakov seven, Huang in eighth position. Short commercial break, and we'll be back with the medal ceremony and the floor exercise for the girls. Eurosport Live. Welcome back to the National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham as we look at the medal ceremonies for both the second of the three finals for the men and for the first of the two finals for the girls. And we now go into that ceremony for the women's beam exercise. And after really quite a long wait, the gold medal in at the women's beam has gone to the silver medalist from the vault. She's gone one better, Lavinia Milicevic of Romania. Claims gold in the beam. The silver medal with a score of 9.725 from the United States of America, Dominique Dawes. Well, what a shame for little Dominique Dawes. She's come so close to gold so often throughout the whole of these championships. And, the medal, and unfortunately, the Dominique Dawes does not qualify for the last final Romania, of the women's Gina competition, Dogan. the floor. 
and that is the end but a very good campaign indeed for Dominique Dawes who goes home quite content with two and silver medals Gojian of Romania the takes the bronze and she Romania adds that Romania bronze Rosevich. to a silver that she won in the all-around competition behind Shanna Miller of the United States of America and now the silver medal to be presented by Teresa Perev goes to Dominique Dawes from the United States of well, America. Well, the youngster who really came here as the third hopeful of the American team really has turned out to and be one of the stars of the Gopher tournament, but so to close to that Gina gold medal Gojan in the all-around competition. Very close to winning gold well, in the all-around. Didn't expect to be there, but Gold when she found she was in a good position, gymnast, disappointment position showed. China, Here we Lee have Lee. two people on the rostrum, Milosevic and Dawes, in both happy to win medals, Latvia, both having a disappointing all-around competition. In the sixth position from Russia, Oksana Fabrichnova. Fabrichnova there. Down in, in sixth. Seventh position from the People's Republic of China. And well, we'll wait for and one other lady. She can't join us for this presentation for the United States. That of America, is disappointing. Shannon Miller. Shannon Miller not coming out for the presentation because she finished down in eighth position. Well, there were rumours and stories this morning that she had a bit of an upset tummy, and possibly that's still becoming. A growing problem for Shannon Miller and we'll hope and really keep our fingers crossed that Shannon will be fit and well enough to come and perform in the last final now, of the afternoon please, for the ladies and that will be the, the floor anthem of our winner, the national anthem of Romania Presentation. We thank our presentation party, Gilbert Feli, Teresa Perez, and Agneta Gottberg. Our presentation party for the men's parallel bars is Feng Jibai, who's a member of the executive committee of the FIG, Shuji Yokoyama, who's president of the Asian Gymnastics Union, and Adrian Stoika, who's vice president of the men's technical committee. <laughs> 